Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing some of the overhyped products that we have seen on one of the social medias, um, could be Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, anywhere, but these products keep resurfacing over and over again. So I thought I will do a quick video and review which are worth and which are not worth your money. If you like the video, don't forget to smash a big thumbs up. And other than that, let's get started. So for the very first product um, or a service is HelloFresh. So I have used a lot of their services. As you can see, I have so many recipes. I have more than this. But yeah, I used to get HelloFresh. Um, I started using it in the lockdown when you can go to the supermarket whenever you wanted to. So basically what HelloFresh is for people who don't know is they send you a recipe. You can obviously pick the recipe on their app as they send you all the ingredients that are required the quantities um, is written here the measurements and they send you the recipe so all you have to do is put everything together and just you do your dish so like this one is creamy mushroom and then i've got different creamy roasted vegetable curry warm roasted tomatoes crispy chicken breast roasted cod so yeah so i basically have a lot of these i don't think hello fresh is worth the price because what they're saying is uh, like cheapest option blah blah your meals are prepared your recipes are prepared but the thing is when you buy all these ingredients you can make the same recipe five times if you buy the ingredients or maybe more because if you want vinegar they'll just send you 30 ml because that's how much is required in the recipe for example but if you go to a supermarket you'll end up buying a big bottle of vinegar so you can make that recipe like go 10 times more with the same ingredients also it's like maximum you can have is lunch and dinner from this but you don't really get any options for breakfast or midday snacks so you'll end up paying for breakfast and end up paying for your fruit and veg and different stuff so for me mm -mm, doesn't work the next on my list is some palettes so i was a big holder of makeup i used to buy so much makeup now i've stopped i don't know it just i just grew out of it thank god i did um but yeah the recent purchase was these two because i really wanted to review and i really really didn't like it so if we're talking about these two specifically not worth your money but if we're talking about makeup in general i think um it's better to invest in a nice pink brown nude sort of a palette and one colorful palette and that will serve the purpose you can create n number of looks with those two but, um you don't need 30 palettes like i have hoarded because you end up using nothing so i don't buy makeup anymore because i just feel it's not required maybe you buy a palette a year or two palettes a year that's fine i think and keep using those finish those hit the pan which is impossible for me right now um hit the pan and then get new ones next along the same lines is skincare and is these two pixie toners one is vitamin c and the other one is glow tonic um i cannot recommend them enough these are my favorite products in the whole world i apply the vitamin c in the morning and then i apply the glow tonic every day in the evening um before bed and i think these just work miraculously on my skin wonderfully i don't get acne pimples anything everything is cured this one is just because um of my cycles but yeah it's fine but usually i don't get anything because of these two and i really 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 like this one i think both they're very refreshing but obviously consult your dermat before you start using any product next thing on the list is this thing right here i don't know if you can see it is a nintendo so it is a nintendo it's a nintendo switch i got it i think two years ago um and i do not recommend it at all because in two years i think i have only used it five times um i thought it'll be okay because i live by myself and then obviously people would say you could have got a playstation i could have but i didn't because every time i move houses it's not um always necessary that i find a tv in the room so i wanted something i can use just like that so i got a nintendo i thought if i'm by myself i can play games and kill time and stuff but honestly i do not do it so i don't recommend anyone buying this because it's just four days five days a week two weeks you're going to use it and then you just grow out of it next on the list is books so it can be whatever books you read whatever books you like um because i read a lot of books and i buy a lot of books a lot 
a lot of people tell me to buy kindle instead and get the books installed on it i mean i understand it's good for the environment and everything but i really can't read on kindle i have tried it and i really like buying books and actually having the physical copies and reading it um i'll give it a try again kindle and see if i can get it on this time but it is very difficult for me i do not have that concentration on kindle so i generally prefer getting the hard books i won't recommend or not recommend books because it totally depends on you but i think books in general is a great investment are a great investment so you can maybe get kindle if it's your type or you can get physical books anything but just reading in general 10 on 10 last two products are this and this so let me show you the first one is my dyson air wrap which looks like this i have done a detailed video on dyson on my channel um i will put it up here or here i really don't know where but one of these sides that video i've showed how to use a dyson air wrap and stuff like that so obviously it comes with a lot of attachments which are kept here hopefully it's visible in the camera i don't want to pick it up but yeah it comes with a lot of attachments i'm not sure because this is an expensive product it is 550 pounds so i'm not sure if it's worth that money because i have seen now recently a lot of other revlon and I don't I don't know but there are other companies which are doing the same product as the air wrap maybe they're worth I have no idea maybe I'll do a video let me know if you're interested in a video where I compare 500 pounds versus a 50 pounds air wrap and I can do it and put it up for you yeah but I would not necessarily recommend everyone buying this if you have that kind of money go get it get yourself a Dyson air wrap that's fine but but beating yourself up just to get a Dyson air wrap I don't think it's worth it but on the same note since the day I've got this I'll link another video here or here I don't know which side I got the Dyson Corral for my birthday and I've now not used that since this because this is the most amazing thing this is something i mean i can't live without i don't know if they're wireless um hair straighteners but obviously you can style your hair so many ways with the straightener as well you can do loose curls tight curls this that so many things but i just love the flexibility it gives you because my plug points are here i can just go there and do it or i can do it in the bathroom i don't need a plug point because it has got airplane mode you can travel with this i recently traveled with my corral um so yeah i really love this this is something i would recommend 100 percent that mm -mm, it's 50 50 so this is everything that i wanted to review in this video if there are more things you'd like me to review just leave them in the comment section i'll pick it up yes with this i end my video here i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to smash a big thumbs up comment down below your favorite products out of these things you'd like to try things you'd like me to try and review if you'd like to subscribe to my channel please hit the subscribe button below and i shall see you very very soon bye